Hey, good morning. Um, so the word came to me earlier this week. It's really not happening. And uh, I'll look up information on it and I'll bring that word to you. Uh, and so I uh, took a video note of that uh, while I was driving. Uh, so I'd remember it and I could go back and study on it and look up the Bible verses that pertain to it. Uh, the ones that I'm thinking about that I don't know by heart. I'm not, uh, I've not memorized Bible verses, but I, I do know uh, that they're in there and they pertain. So I, I go back and find them. Uh, so you'll see them added into the clips um, too. So I was watching that video, getting ready to redo it for you guys here this morning. Uh, so it'd be clean and cut and look really good. But I realized <laughs> really everything was in there that you needed and that was it. So uh, I will uh, I will add a couple verses uh, that were in my head while I was uh, doing that video and that came to me afterwards. And uh, other than that, that's going to be the video that uh, I believe the word that God wanted you guys to have this week. So here we go. All right. So have you ever had a friend or family member that uh, said, uh, you know, why didn't you come to me? Why didn't you ask for help? Right. And they're, they're almost hurt or distraught over the fact that you didn't come to them for that help, uh, that you didn't look to them to, uh, to get something fixed. Well, our, our, our heavenly fathers the same way. Okay. One of the ways you can worship him. Okay. One of the ways you can praise him, uh, is by making him important in your life. Uh, and bring in your troubles and your concerns to him uh, through prayer, okay? Uh, he wants that. He wants that relationship. And he wants to feel that importancy. Uh, and he wants you to have that trust in him. Uh, just like those people in your life that got upset because you didn't bring a problem to them, it's, it's because ultimately they know that you didn't trust the fact that they would help you or could help you or that you, they loved you enough to, to work on something with you. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, just like people in your life, uh, when you bring a problem to them, uh, they may have a solution you don't like, but you know it's the right solution. Our God's the same way. He may have a solution for your problem. It just may not be the solution you want. Uh, and sometimes that's hard for us to understand. That's often when we say, why didn't God appear? Why didn't he show up? Why didn't he do what I wanted? Well, ultimately, because it's his plan, not yours. And so, his plan will prevail. The perfect plan. Alright, so after watching that video, there was, uh, there was two uh, things I wanted to share with you. Uh, the first one was uh, Psalms 46. If you get a chance, go, go read it. But I'll just... I'm going to read the uh, first verse here, which was incredible. God is our refuge and our strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. So uh, if you want today, want to grow in Christ a little, got a little time, go ahead and uh, go ahead and open that up and read that. That's, that's a great read right there. And it's just, it's about a page long, so it won't take you long to go a little bit. It definitely inspire. So, the other thing I wanted is uh, if you go to Ephesians 1 15, it was this, this in here. It says, This is why, since I heard your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all saints, I never stop thanking for you as I remember you in prayer. And I pray, and this is a prayer I have for all of you personally. It comes out of here, but it's a prayer I, I have for y'all. I pray that the God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, will give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Uh, that's my prayer for all of you. That's my prayer for this work we do together. I pray uh, for Ephesians 1.17. I pray that the God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So I pray that today's video has given you some of that. Thank you. I uh, love you guys. Pray for you. And uh, fear not. Our God is a great God. Amen.